Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Corey, and welcome back to another episode in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Now, in today's episode, I do want to talk a little bit about uh, crashing and freezing that people may or may not be experiencing as of lately. Now, the first couple of flights that I did, I had literally no problems whatsoever. And then I got into a couple days later and I started noticing that when I was messing around with the FMS or the MCDU, depending on what aircraft I was actually in, I would actually experience freezing and the game would not let me do anything. And it never said it wasn't responding. It just completely froze. And I waited, I think at one point over half an hour for one time. And then I actually went to eat and came back and it was like an hour another time and it had not unfroze or anything like that. So in today's video, I want to be able to address any issues that you guys might be having with crashing or potential freezing problems. And this is something that you guys want to probably want to stay on top of going forward, uh, just so that you don't experience any of these types of issues. So, um, and the reason that I'm actually bringing this up to everybody today is we had a live stream the other day and I actually had a couple people ask this specific question and I've asked them since then if they've had any problems and they have all said no that they have experienced no problems they have not had any crashing or freezing since they did this change to Microsoft Flight Simulator technically you're gonna be doing the change to your computer but let's go ahead and kind of break it down now the first thing that you guys will need to do is if you guys have NVIDIA or one of the graphics cards that is uh, supported by NVIDIA what you're going to want to do is go to their website now obviously this is their website this link will be down in the description if i forget to uh, put it down in the description then please by all means be kind and put a nice comment down below so that i remember to actually do it but this is something that's going to be very uh beneficial for you guys so in here as long as you guys have the nvidia drivers and nvidia graphics card you guys can choose which one you guys have my case i have a geforce i have a uh, 10 series in my specific computer and then i've got the ti so then what i can actually do is i can actually just go ahead and download this so i can search and then it will basically find what i am looking for and then i can go ahead and click on it and you can see right here that its release date was on the 17th which is the day before or technically the day of for some people the download of Microsoft Flight Simulator. So all you have to do is click on download and then make sure that you guys install. However, I do have one step better. Now, if you guys don't know necessarily what your graphics card is, unfortunately, you guys will have to go into your settings and you guys will have to actually figure out what that graphics card is. And then you're gonna have to make sure that you gra grab the right one. So whatever graphics card you currently have inside of your computer, make sure that it is you know, up, updated, make sure that the updates are either set to automatic or that you're constantly checking them. Make sure, or if you guys experience a freeze or a crash, this is probably one of your first things that you'd want to check. Now, NVIDIA also has the GeForce experience. Now, this is what I actually have on my computer. You can see that this one is the same one that we actually have up here. So, you know, it's version 452.06. And that's exactly what it is, same release date. So you can see that it's the exact same one. So my my card is, or my drivers are up to date. Now, if you wanna check, make sure that they're up to date, you can actually click on the check for updates and it says you had the latest GeForce game ready driver. So there we go. I'm completely up to date. And since then I have experienced no issues that I've messed around with the FMS, the autopilot, MCDU, I've literally clicked thousand different buttons and have experienced no problems since actually fixing these drivers. So that's really all that you guys should have to be able to do. Uh, this again can also be, uh, I mean, this is specific for GeForce. So if you guys don't have a GeForce, you might have to find something else, but I love this specific program. If you guys do have a GeForce graphics card, it definitely, definitely helps out. So this is going to be like in reference to, um, I think even like the uh, RX, so the RTX, uh, no, it does not. It's, uh, yeah. So even like the, the 2080, so the actual RTX or the ray tracing graphics cards, um, will all be under GeForce and there you go. That's all you should really have to do, which is pretty, pretty spectacular. And it should solve a lot of your 
issues or even your potential issues to make sure that you guys have these updated and checked. Now, uh, as of this right here, I don't remember exactly where I got this from, so I'll try to find the download for it. I don't even remember if it was just naturally installed on my computer. I don't think it was because I built my computer myself. So I probably installed it at some point and I just don't remember doing it. So um, we'll have to, I'll have to do some checking on this to find out where I, or to get the download link for you guys so that you guys can uh, use it for yourself. But that really is everything that you guys might want to know about the freezing. I This is the first thing that I would check. It seems like anything that involves around there, always check your drivers first. It's probably one of the most common problems when it comes to any of the freezing or crashing issues in any game. It does not necessarily even have to be Flight Simulator. It could be literally anything. If your computer is freezing or crashing in any program, any game, anything like that, just make sure that that specific driver is updated and that it's good to go. I've experienced this many, many times um, in the course of using computers for pretty much my entire life. And as soon as I, you update the driver, everything is a okay. Um, and if you guys do have any questions, by all means, leave a comment down below because I would love to be able to help you guys out if I possibly can. Um, I might not be able to help everybody because obviously this is specifically for NVIDIA and it might not be able to solve yours. So if you guys have something else or you're using a different driver or whatever it might be, just go to that specific website, search for your download and the drivers. There should be, you know, like right on NVIDIA, there's a drivers right here. So you can actually specifically go ahead and look right here on their website and regardless of what page you're on. So that's pretty nice and handy. And most of those main companies should actually have those right at the top. But anyway, if this does help you guys out and it does fix your any of your freezing and your crashing problems, I would love to actually hear it down below. Um, if it doesn't, it might not solve it for everybody. And I will be completely honest with that. It, there might be underlying issues. It could be maybe your, some of your specs just aren't what Microsoft recommends for the flight simulator and you're trying to do just a little bit too much with it. Maybe you've added something to the game that maybe isn't quite compatible. Maybe one of the new plugins that are available or one of the new add-ons. Uh, it might be a livery that you guys have installed. There could be a variety of different reasons why this could all freeze and crash a game, but this is the one thing that you guys want to, uh, to do, just double check right off the bat. But anyway, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, you know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it, and you guys... Day gaming.